in today's video, I'm going to show you how to teleport. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Brooker Films. And yes, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the teleportation effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. To begin this effect, you want to first shoot your footage. So you want to find the location and you want to mount your camera to a tripod, set your camera to manual mode and start filming. Now from this point, you want to run out in front of the camera and you want to complete an action on one side of the screen. Now once you've completed this action, you want to run across to the other side of the screen and do a different action in a different space. Now once you've captured both of these, you want to run out of the frame and you want to leave the camera rolling for around 10 seconds. This is your clean plate and you need this to complete the effect. Now once you've got the shot of you jumping into the effect, jumping out of the effect and your clean plate, we need to get this onto the computer and load up Adobe Premiere Pro to begin editing the effect. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we can begin by importing our footage. So we go to the bin and press import and then we want to create a new sequence. So we'll just rename this to teleport and then we just want to make sure that's 1920 by 1080. Drag the footage into the sequence and then we're just going to go through and we're just going to find our clean plate, the footage of us jumping into the effect and the footage of us jumping out of the effect. But before we do anything, I'm just going to delete this audio because we don't need this. So it's just going to get in the way. So I'm just going to select everything, unlink, and then I can just go through and I can just delete the audio. And now we can carry on by finding the jumping into the effect and jumping out of the effect. And once we've found this, we just want to drag this all the way back, making sure that the two jumping layers are on video layer two, and then just make sure that clean plate is on video layer one. So right now I'm just going through and I'm just finding the in and the out points for these jumps. So just finding where the jump starts and the jump ends. And then once I'm happy with this, I can just leave two frames empty in between the jump. So this is where the teleport effect is going to take place. Now, as you can see, the clouds are jumping in the background and that's because some time did pass between taking the clean plate and taking the jumping. So, so we're going to create a mask around each part of me jumping. So we'll just add this circle mask and we'll just go through and just make sure that this is covering me throughout the entirety of the action. So we're just going to make sure that's there. Pull that up a touch. And then we're just going to go into the mask and we're just going to pull the feather up to around 60%. And that's just going to make that blend really nicely with the clean plate. Now we'll do the same thing again for the second one. So we'll just go into mask, create a circle mask, make sure that's covering the whole of my action. And then we'll just increase the feathering to around 60, 70, 75%. And now if we look at this back, there you go. I disappear there and I re-enter the frame over there. So now from here, I'm just going to nest the sequence. So we're just going to select them all, go into nest and just rename this to whatever you like. But I'm just going to leave this blank for now. And then at the start of the nested sequence, I'm just going to create a keyframe on the scale and the position in the motion tab. I'm going to scroll across to the end and I'm just going to increase the value of this. So I'm just going to add a slight zoom into this nested composition. This is just going to make the effect look even more realistic. And now on here, on the point where I disappear from the frame, I'm just going to create a brand new keyframe. I'm going to go back two frames, create a new keyframe. I'm going to go forward four keyframes, create a new keyframe. And then on that middle set of keyframes, I'm just going to adjust the scale and the position. I'm going to increase the scale to around 100 and let's say 140, 150. And then that adds a screen pump. So that basically gives the impression that there was a mini earthquake at the point of the teleportation. And this just helps to blend the effect to make it look even more realistic. To improve on this, I'm going to go into effects, search for levels. I'm going to drop some levels on top of that. And on that middle keyframe, I'm going to pull the white input level up to around 160. I'm going to go back two frames and I'm going to pull that back to the original value. So that's 255. And then I'm going to go to the end keyframe and do the same thing again. So I'm going to make sure that this is 255. And now if we watch this back, you can see there is this flash there. And again, this is kind of like a lightning flash. This is helping to blend the effect even more. So I'm just going to go through. I'm going to add some rotation. So same thing again, we'll create those same set of keyframes. And in the middle keyframe, it's going to be a different value. And as you can see, that rotation there is really starting to blend this effect. But I think we need to shorten the distance in between the keyframes at the start and lengthen the duration between the second and the third set of keyframes. There you go. That looks a lot more realistic. That looks really realistic now. So from here, we just want to go through and we just want to create a brand new adjustment layer. Make sure this is 1920 by 1080. And then at the point where I jump, I'm just going to add this adjustment layer inside of the nested sequence. So we'll just drag that on and we can scroll across two frames and we can just cut that. And now in here, I'm just going to go into levels 
And inside of levels, I'm just going to increase the black input level. And then I'm going to increase the, and then I'm going to increase the white input level on the blue channels. And I'm just going to brighten this up a little bit. And then from here, I'm just going to do the same thing again. I'm going to create that same circle mask and I'm going to increase the feather. Then I'm going to copy that same adjustment layer two frames across. Make sure that these two are padlocked below. And then I'm just going to move this across to the arrival point of the animation. So if we watch this back, there's a flash at the start of the teleportation and there's a flash at the end of the teleportation. But it's not blended very well with the scene, so I'm just going to go back in. And I'm just going to pull the feathering of this all the way up to around 500. And we'll do the same thing again with the other. Pull that up to around 500 and that's blended really nicely. And that is the teleportation effect. And there you go, that is the teleportation effect. It's a really simple but really powerful effect and if you get it right then it can look incredible and it can really make your videos look really professional. If you enjoyed watching this video then please do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching, I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs>